All right, we're gonna start making the cherry topping. Leaking a little bit, it's okay. Cherry topping, so we're gonna wash these up and then we're gonna start cutting them and getting the pits out because I don't think anyone likes the pits in the cherry Eating the pits is the pits. Okay, so we're gonna cut them and get the pits out. Yeah, this is your baby, so. Well, you can help me cut. Oh, okay. You can add another one, lazy. Both of us useless and lazy. Why don't you put oh Neat. All right, ready for the cherry topping, and we've just finished cutting up all the cherries. What else and is going to be deep hitting them? So we uh, need corn syrup, corn starch, sugar, and water. All right. So water. How much water? We don't need a lot because this is just for the yeah. couple. Not very much. Put it in here. That's exact measurements for you. Just a, a little, little bit. bit in there. Well, I don't think that much. Okay. That much. That, that made a difference. Put some cherries in there. Nice. So this would be the part that's gooey. Looks like something <laughs> from a science lab. And sugar. Some more red past sugar. How much sugar? Listen. Quarter cup. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nice. And in there. More cherries. Okay, how much of this stuff? Just a spoon. We'll try a spoon to be in. This spoon. <laughs> or two. That's a, That's a big tisp. <laughs> That's a big tisp. That's a tibis. That's a tibis. <laughs> up then we're gonna put on the stove and heat up the rest of the cherries and everything else. Right. Hopefully that turns out. Thickening? Not yet, but yeah, it is. It is. Look, it is thickening. Oh, better keep mixing that fast, though. It is thickening like crazy. Oh yeah, check that out. Okay, get the cherries. Okay, a lot. Of... Have to go fast here. Dump the whole Jesus. thing in. Just dump it over. Yeah, in. dump it in. Just dump. on your burner. I think it's leftover apple fritter. But it did thicken. It did. I just let this kind of soften up some of those cherries, hopefully by boiling. So we're just going to let that simmer for a couple minutes and ready for the top. Okay, we've been letting this simmer for how long now? A couple minutes? A little bit, five minutes probably. Yeah. Five minutes, you can see the consistency of it. The cherries are starting to get a little softer. And it's pretty thick and goopy. We haven't actually tried it to see how sugary it is, but we're just gonna go with the flow of things, let this cool down and uh, put on top. So let's just let this cool. Done. All right, our cherry topping has I'm dripping water on it, dude. That's okay. It's cooled off quite a bit, so we're just gonna pour it on and slap it on there. Hopefully, it's okay. You want me to scoop it out? Sure, you scoop. Okay. 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 Smells like jam. Ooh. Ooh. Do 
you tip it down a bit more. Thank you. All right. Spread that craziness. It looks good. It actually, it looks really good. It doesn't have much of a smell yet, though. No. It's cheap in the background. I told you to keep your livestock locked up when I'm over. All right. Well, the cherry cheesecake has been in the fridge for oh, probably over two hours. Two now. hours. So I think we're gonna snap it open and take a look. Go ahead. Hopefully it doesn't just go. Just that looks pretty good. It didn't collapse. No collapsing yet. Nothing. I want to try and lift it. Uh, don't get crazy now. It's heavy. The crust is pretty thick. <laughs> it looks good though. I think we're going to be famous for thick crust things. Yeah, no thin crust here. Pizza Hut wouldn't like us. Alright, well let's, uh, let's cut its uh, baby open. Ooh. That's not what I want to hear you. Okay. The texture is creamy. There's the crust. It's not super thick like Not like that lemon meringue, eh? No. Oh, I just stabbed into it there. I'm actually very eager to try this. Unlike the lemon meringue where I was terrified. Hesitating or whatever. Yeah. Here's a slice. This, again, a pretty thick crust, but it looks good. Get myself a nice try. Oh, that's a little curved piece there. that doesn't go down very well. All right. So. There you go. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Actually, it's really good. It, it's really creamy. Very creamy, actually. Probably a more creamy it than it should be. They probably could have sat a little bit a little longer, but... Mmm. The crust is great. I, I may just go back for a second piece. Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to say no to the beer, but we don't have to wash it down. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. I'm definitely down with this. Mmm. What do you rate this one? This is going to be at least an 8. An 8. We got an 8. This is a, a remarkable. I don't think we've even achieved more than a 3. It, it's edible. It actually looks good. Tastes good. The cherries are delicious. Mm. 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 They're good. We actually, I think, are getting better. Yeah? That's good. No, I still can't say no to the beer, but... Mm. Well, cheers. Mm. So uh, next week we're going to have a little Valentine's Day special. Valentine's Day special. Yeah, times, not times. Um, we're going to try to make a, a heart-shaped cake. Heart-shaped cake. So, uh, never made a cake. Or never made one either. Not out of, not from scratch anyways. I've always used a mix if I ever did make one, so... So uh, stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.